Hello, welcome to the Smart Academy and Smart Family Improvement Products. Today, we're going to be talking about a ton. What is a ton? What is it when we talk about refrigeration and air conditioning? Where did it come from? And why did it become popular? We're going to try to answer all of those questions. So, when I think of a ton, what I think of is the weight measurement for 2,000 pounds is equal to one ton. That's what's in my mind, that's what I think of whenever I think of a ton. So when we talk about air conditioning or refrigeration, why is that 2,000 pound measurement important? Well, let's go back a little bit and talk about some history. So back more than 100 years ago, in the 1800s and then the early 1900s, it was fairly common to buy big blocks of ice That's a big block of ice. And you could buy those blocks of ice by 2,000 pound or ton increments. It was totally normal. So if you had a very large hotel or a large space, and we didn't have mechanical refrigeration at the time, one way that we could utilize some preliminary air conditioning was take a big block of ice, blow hot air through that block of ice, Some of that ice would change phase from a solid to a liquid, it would become water. And we'd have cold air coming out of the other side. So again, very early air conditioning practices. We'd have a fan, like our nice smart family fan here. We'd be blowing hot air over a block of ice. That air would reject some of the heat as this ice phase came from a solid to a liquid get much colder air that we could take through the space. Well, in the very early 1900s, about 1904, the American Society of Refrigerating Engineers, which ultimately became ASHRAE, decided that, hey, we need to standardize on that measurement. And 1904 is about when we said, okay, in North America, we're gonna use the ton when we start to define uh, quantity of energy required for air conditioning applications. But let's go a little bit more in depth talk about what that means. Okay. Let me give you some more terms. So we know that a ton is equal to 2,000 pounds. But we also know that the phase change, the energy required to, to phase change one pound of water from ice to its liquid state is 144 British thermal units. That's per one pound Water. So how do we come to the ton as we know it today? Let's let's walk that through. Let's go through the process. So where the term comes from is the energy required to melt 2,000 pounds of water over a one-day period. That's the standard. So let's break that down. We know we have 2,000 pounds of ice and we know that the energy required to melt one pound of ice is 144 British thermal units. So we're just gonna times 2,000 by 144. To get the total energy required to melt 2,000 pounds of ice or one ton in one day. And if we do the math, 288,000 British thermal units in one day. So how does that equate to the capacity required on a per hour basis, which is normally how we represent tonnage in air conditioning systems? Well, that's also pretty straightforward. We know we have 288,000 British thermal units per day, and that's one ton. And we know in one day, there's 24 hours. So we can just do a standard conversion factor to figure out how many British thermal units per hour is equal to one ton. So standard conversion factor, we drop out the days, we divide 288,000 by 24 hours, and we get 12,000 British thermal units per one hour is the 
the same as one ton. That's where the standard came from. That's how it was developed. And I think it's pretty interesting to know the math and a little bit of history about it. I think it makes more sense to me if you're learning this. Thank you for watching our video and please stay tuned for many more videos to come.